How's it going everybody? Welcome to Quiet. This is gonna be a pretty long video, maybe. I don't know how this is gonna work. But today we're gonna have an updated video of all forms and transformations of Sun Goku and also his fusions for 2018. Now I've decided to do an update for this video that I've made I think around two years ago where I basically just showcased all of Goku's Super Saiyan transformations and talked, well not just Super Saiyan transformations, just transformations in general and talked about how he achieved them and just details like that and basically just putting all of them together in one video. And now with Super Ending, I've decided to include a bunch of different versions of Goku, transformations, uh, video game exclusive forms, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in something like that, make sure to go get some food or a drink or something. Uh, maybe just, if you just want to hear me talk instead of watching the visuals, then if you're doing something right now, just open another tab or something and just listen to me talk about this stuff because uh, this did take a long time. So if, if, if you would want to subscribe or leave a rating below, maybe share this with your friends to show you support. It would be greatly appreciated and also have a question for you guys. This is going to be the question of the day or the question of the video. What is your favorite transformation or form of Goku of all time? Like what is your number one favorite form of Goku? For me, after everything that I've seen, I have to say it's, it's Ultra Instinct. Like the perfected Ultra Instinct. It just looks... It looks amazing. The aura is amazing and... The form itself is just the pinnacle of Goku's power, he's shown some incredible feats and it's just definitely been awesome. So that's my uh, favorite form of Goku's, you let me know yours in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Great Ape So Goku has transformed into a Great Ape a few times during Dragon Ball. What triggers this transformation in him and all Saiyans are the actual blood waves that are absorbed from looking at a full moon. While having their tails, of course, you know, because a Saiyan cannot transform into this once their tail is removed. That's just how it is. Unknown to Goku, however, he ended up crushing his grandpa Gohan during one of these transformations, but during, well, close to the end of Dragon Ball, Kami removed his tail for the final time, well not close to the end of the dragon, but when Goku was still a kid, Kami ended up removing his tail for the final time, so he could never transform again. Kaioken. This is a technique Goku learned while training with King Kai. It's a power boosting technique. Goku's maximum multiplier that's actually known as times 20 in the anime and the manga. Uh, we don't know if this is the actual limit or if it's just how far Goku's willing to push. Maybe, maybe this is the limit that he's able to push into uh, before he realizes maybe it's not worth it because you've got to realize back before he had Super Saiyan, this was an amazing power up although he damaged his body. Once he got Super Saiyan, this, uh, well, this technique became obsolete because why would you use Kaioken, strain your body, for a times 20 multiplier when you can just go Super Saiyan and get a times 50 multiplier? Like, that makes more sense to me, just go Super Saiyan. But yeah, we don't know if this is the actual limit. Goku has to stay synchronized with his every heartbeat. He's got to stay incredibly focused to maintain his power. Otherwise, his power can, you know, destroy him from the inside. False Super Saiyan. Goku achieved this form in an attempt to defeat Lord Slug. Through the rage of being beaten down, Goku unleashed a huge amount of energy and aura, which looks similar to what Super Saiyan looks like today. Minus obviously the hair color change. It was strong enough to thrash around Slag for a few seconds before it gave out. And for whatever reason, I, I think it's because of his rage, his pupils also disappeared. Ginyu's body. During the events of the Battle of Namek, Ginyu ended up successfully switching bodies with Goku. He switched after ja damaging his body permanently to ensure that Goku wouldn't be able to get his own body back. However, Goku obviously ended up managed to get his body back after Ginyu attempted to switch bodies with Vegeta after being beaten down in Goku's body. Now Goku in Ginyu's body jumped in the way, switched back bodies and then went on to get healed and face Frieza. Super Saiyan This is Goku's first Super Saiyan form. He achieved this form after Frieza destroyed Krillin. His full power exceeded- well, his full power in this state exceeds that of Frieza's 100% power 
well, his form, and this form also boosts Goku's base power level by 50 times. Upon transforming, however, Goku becomes more aggressive and irritable, and the key control, I guess, isn't that great, but the form usually gets the job done. Ascended Super Saiyan. This transformation surpasses the original transformation. Goku achieved it in a hyperbolic time chamber. In this state, Goku's muscles bulk up and his hair spikes out more. However, Goku notes that this form isn't really worth it as it uses more ki to maintain than Super Saiyan itself. Obviously, we've seen Vegeta actually utilize this form against second form Cell, and he proved more than enough to take, you know, semi-perfect Cell down. Ultra Super Saiyan. Along with Ascended Super Saiyan, Goku achieved this form in a hyperbolic time chamber. While this form is vastly stronger than the previous two forms, the power output is too intense, making Goku's muscles too big, which thus limits his speed heavily. This form is also unstable, therefore Goku decided to not use this at all, because first of all, the power output is too much, the speed is decreased, and it just isn't worth it because of two, be, just because of those factors alone. Goku himself stated, all the power in the world would do no good if you can't even hit the guy, pretty much meaning that this form was completely impractical in the real world. So Goku decided to train his Super Saiyan form instead. Full Power Super Saiyan Goku trained to improve his endurance in his Super Saiyan form, first overcoming the heightened aggression and energy drain to almost nothing, achieving a max output for Super Saiyan with pretty much no drawbacks. Goku can now fight at his full potential without losing energy like he would in his untrained Super Saiyan form, and also he managed to pretty much get past um, all the limits that he had before in terms of, like I said, the key drain and all of that aggression that he had. Now fast forwarding to Battle of Gods, after dropping out of his Super Saiyan God transformation in his battle against the God of Structure Beerus, Goku retained most of the Super Saiyan power, well, Super Saiyan God's power in his Super Saiyan form, making him incredibly powerful and eventually even leading on to him attaining Super Saiyan Blue through training with Whis. Super Saiyan Kaioken. Now, Goku uses this technique briefly in the Other World Tournament while fighting Pycon. Goku used Kaioken while in his Super Saiyan form, doubling his strength. With this strength, he punched Pycon into an asteroid orbiting the Other World Stadium. However, due to the strain of Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan, even while having perfect control over it, it was too dangerous to use while alive, as it already drained a otherworld Goku who was not even alive to begin with. Super Saiyan 2 This transformation multiplies Goku's base form by 100. Well, 100 times. Goku achieved this form in the otherworld sometime after the defeat of Cell. In this form, Goku's hair spikes up, his aura grows larger, and it generates electricity. Goku first used it briefly against Yakon to overflow him with energy. However, Goku utilizes this form fully against Majin Vegeta. In Dragon Ball Super, it seems like he has mastered Super Saiyan 2 similar to Super Saiyan. Full Power Super Saiyan 2 At the Tournament of Power, while fighting Khalifla, Goku began testing her strength, and as she adapted to this, Goku was prompted to become Super Saiyan 2 and unleash the full force of it. Khalifla questioned if this was really the same Super Saiyan 2 she was using. In this state of Super Saiyan 2, Goku's aura expands even further, and there's an even more of an electricity generated by the aura. This state allows Goku to fight on power with Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla and true Super Saiyan Berserker Kale at the same time. Super Saiyan 3 Now this transformation multiplies Goku's base power by 400 times. Well, 400 times. Goku achieved this transformation in the other world. This form amplifies his power, like I said, 400 times in, you know, of his base form, but the biggest drawback to this form is the key drain. So Goku can only hold on to it for a short period of time before getting exhausted and losing all of his stamina. When Goku used this form in the living world after having one day to spend on Earth, it drained most of his remaining time from hours to 30 minutes, and that's just after he used it a sh for a short period of time to fight against Majin Buu. All of these disadvantages make this form impractical to use outside of the afterlife. Vegeta Vegeta was born when Goku and Vegeta agreed to fuse to defeat Majin Buu who had previously absorbed Gohan, Gotenks, and Piccolo. Vegeta overwhelmed Buhan with ease and toyed with him most of the time to get himself absorbed so he could save everybody that was trapped in there. Then during the events of the Goku Black Arc, Vegeta 
made a reappearance once more to fight Mercy Zamasu, which was a fusion of Goku Black and Zamasu. Vegito also showcased the ability to turn Super Saiyan Blue, however the fusion time was cut short severely due to the increased, <laughs> well pretty much increased massive energy output by the form itself. Gogeta Gogeta was created when Goku and Vegeta had been bought time by Pycon to fuse into Gogeta against Janemba. Gogeta overwhelmed Janemba completely and just to show you the, the same form of Janemba was outclassing Super Saiyan 3 Goku in every single way. Basically Gogeta's Soul Punisher attack completely erased all the malice from Janemba just leaving the person that was originally corrupted by all of that malice to begin with. He basically erased that evil soul, hence the name of Soul Punisher. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan God is a Saiyan transformation that allows Saiyans to experience Divine Ki. Goku achieves this form through the help of five other pure-hearted Saiyans, pouring their energy into him. Goku's appearance changes, his hair is similar to his base form, however it's red, he has red irises, is thinner, and has a darker skin tone. His aura is reminiscent of an orange flame that burns brightly, however that aura actually flows very calmly at the same time. This form's power excites Lord Beerus to fought somewhat seriously against Goku. Goku is also shown the ability to heal his wounds in this state, although that only happened once from what I remember when he actually got stabbed by Beerus. However, in the Tournament of Power, he was also able to resurrect Master Roshi, uh, presumably with God Ki. We don't actually know if he was using God Ki or not, because he was not in his Super Saiyan God state when he was doing it, so it was unclear. Thus, we don't even know. This could probably be uh, a technique that Goku learned just through this form itself. But again, he was possibly just transferring some energy to bring Roshi back to life. That's probably what it was. Upon dropping out of this transformation, Goku managed to keep its power in his Super Saiyan form, allowing him to continue to fight Beerus. Then through further training, he was able to properly access and control this residual power, restoring it to its full properties to then access it at any time. The usage of this form enables Goku heighten recovery powers, enabling Goku to recharge faster, and also use a small fraction of the normal stamina and key consumption that Super Saiyan Blue would consume. He also has the ability to sense divine energy and also mask his energy from non-divine beings. Saiyan Beyond God This is the power of Super Saiyan God that Goku retained after Battle of Gods. Goku became capable of using the power of Super Saiyan God without having to change from his base form, allowing him to hold his own against opponents without transforming. He is also able to access some of his God Ki without transforming into his further forms. However, obviously, that's kind of... Um... I think that form is kind of relevant now because that's just Goku's base form, so it's just his base form after achieving God Ki. That's pretty much what it is. Super Saiyan Blue This is the form Goku achieved through training with Whis. Goku learned how to synchronize Super Saiyan alongside Super Saiyan God, allowing him to become a Super Saiyan Blue. This form is essentially Goku becoming Super Saiyan with God Ki, since it's identical to Super Saiyan, with the differences being cyanish blue hair and a blue aura that flows similarly to how Super Saiyan God's aura did. This form is beyond Super Saiyan God and offers increased levels of Ki and emotional control. Goku can enhance the transformation power, adding Kaioken on top of it to further push it even beyond. Super Saiyan Blue does have a downside, however, which is caused by prolonged and repeated usages. Super Saiyan Blue's peak power can only be maintained for a short period of time before it decreases from the stamina drain. To combat this flaw, Goku developed a trick where he repeatedly switches between Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue that allows him to conserve and quickly recover his full power of the Super Saiyan Blue form, allowing him to fight for extended periods unhindered, because every time he transforms from Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Blue, he'd be using his full power for that split second and then changing back to limit that stamina drain and thus allowing him to recover. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku has managed to use Kaioken alongside Super Saiyan Blue thanks to Super Saiyan Blue's great key and emotional control. Although the first time he used it, there was a very massive chance of it failing, but he managed to pull it off nonetheless. He was originally planning to perfect it to use against Beerus himself in a final battle, However, he was pushed to his limits against Hit in the Universe 6 and 7 tournament, 
and after the first time he used it, his key went into flux and his body was damaged. And basically, Goku had that delayed onset key disorder, which meant that he wasn't able to properly access his energy for a few days. But by the time of the Tournament of Power itself, Goku had mastered this technique entirely, able to use a multiplier of times 20 alongside Super Saiyan Blue without any instabilities or any major strains that we could see. Zamasu's body. Now in a different timeline, Zamasu devised to switch bodies with Goku due to him desiring Goku's power, his Saiyan power, which rivals the gods of destruction. Utilizing the Super Dragon Ball C then switched bodies with Goku and then basically Goku was powerless to stop Zamasu in his own body in this state and was seemingly destroyed alongside Chi Chi and Goten. Master Super Saiyan Blue. So in the manga, Saiyans can only use the full power of Super Saiyan Blue during the first couple of minutes upon transforming before the power drops down. Now Goku managed to overcome this by sealing the entire massive power inside himself, not allowing any energy to leak out. The Master Super Saiyan Blue form was able to have an edge over Merge Zamasu in their fight, showing just how strong he was. However, maintaining this state requires Goku to have intense concentration and focus to prevent any of the key from leaking out of their body, and if any does leak, it can be incredibly painful for Goku, and finally, if too much leaks, it can cause the power to become unstable and explode, thus taking Goku's life alongside it. Ultra Instinct Sign this was the state Goku reached in his fight against the Universe 11's greatest warrior, Jiren. Goku reached this form by breaking through the shell of his normal limits to unlock a deeper pool of his potential. The state looks similar to Goku's base form, with his hair standing up a bit and it becomes more wild in shape, Goku's own eyes become more defined and they actually change to grey, his aura becomes silver with a slight sparking appearance that flows gently. In this state, Goku's strength, speed, and reflexes are off the charts, and he has access to Ultra Instinct, which basically enables his body to react on its own, allowing him to process information quicker and more efficiently to adapt, react, and overcome any opponent that he faces. Goku is constantly evolving in this state, and his attacks keep getting stronger, sharper, and quicker, and also heavier with every reaction of hands. Also, upon entering this state, Goku's previous wounds are ignored and his battle state against Jiren was no longer a factor once he faced Kefla. One downside is that this power comes randomly to Goku and in dire situations. And it also disappears just as quickly as it appeared, taking Goku's energy and stamina with it, basically leaving him open to any attackers. Thus, this form forces Goku to end the fight before it actually runs out. In his fight against Kefla, he was adapting to the state and accessed it a bit easier However, we managed to note that Goku's offense seriously paled in comparison to his defensive capabilities and therefore the state was still incomplete. Or basically it was an incomplete version of Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct. After letting go of any thoughts, worries and pretty much everything, he cleared his mind and synchronized with his impulses and natural drive, Goku subconsciously unlocked Ultra Instinct the full potential of his defensive and offensive absolute power. In this form, his hair turns silver, similar to his eyes, and his skin tone becomes lighter due to the aura becoming fiercer. The power in this form is beyond what his initial state of Ultra Instinct was, to the point where it left all the gods of destruction and deities of all of the universes in awe at his power. Goku's key control is exceptional as he calmly contained and repelled the fiercest energy blast of Jiren's that we've seen with relative ease. And also he was able to completely catch Jiren off guard multiple times and managed to get hits in that he was previously unable to do in his Ultra Instinct sign form. This form is easily Goku's ultimate form and I don't see any other transformation taking over because this is his. This is pretty much the pinnacle of Goku's power. Kid Goku, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. 15 years after the defeat of Kid Buu, Pilaf unintentionally wishes Goku to be returned to a child in the beginning of Dragon Ball GT. In this state, Goku's body has lost a lot of its power due to not being able to channel all of it mostly because of his body being small and not being able to control his ki properly. However, he's still immensely powerful, but his own body just wasn't properly conditioned for most of his techniques. 
including instant transmission. Basically, he would, upon trying to use it, he would randomly teleport. And in his Super Saiyan 3 state, he could only maintain it for a few seconds at most without his tail. And after getting his tail back, he was able to use it for a bit longer, but the difference wasn't really that huge because baby Vegeta still managed to get the upper hand. But the one advantage his tail gave him is that it allowed him to access an even greater form than Super Saiyan 3. And for Super Saiyan, Goku has used it multiple times uh, just to give himself an extra power boost. And with Super Saiyan 2, he's only seen using it, I think, twice. The first time he was seen using it was when he was uh, guarding against an attack by General Roldo. And the second time was when he was transforming to Super Saiyan 3 against Baby Vegeta. Golden Great Ape. Goku achieves this form thanks to the Grand Kai helping Goku regrow his tail. In his next fight against Baby, he was beaten down into the ground and upon staring at the earth, the Blotz waves were enough to transform Goku into this state. Now in this state, Goku looks identical to what a great ape does, but just golden. However, Goku doesn't have any control over it and it pretty much took Pan talking sense into Goku for him to regain his senses and what that did was lead into his next transformation, which is Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4. This transformation is Super Saiyan 4, but unlike the name itself states, it's not a part of the traditional branch of Super Saiyan transformations. This form's power overcomes the power of the Black Star Dragon Balls, allowing Goku to return to his adult self in this form. Goku's hair is even more wild and longer than normal, he becomes taller and more muscular, his eyes become yellow and scarlet fur covers him from shoulder to toe, excluding his chest and hands, and he also becomes incredibly overconfident and he feels like he can do anything in this form. Full Power Super Saiyan 4 After gathering enough energy from Gohan, Goten, Trunks and Pan, Goku attains this state, where he has more power than usual and allows him to defeat the golden great ape baby Vegeta. This state goes beyond Goku's natural limits as a Super Saiyan 4, thus making it pretty dangerous to use. And he also gets a pretty cool red radiating glow from his body. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Now, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was born when Goku and Vegeta fused as Super Saiyan 4s in a last ditch effort to combat Omega Shenron. Gogeta's power overwhelmed Omega, when previously Omega himself was destroying both Goku and Vegeta at the same time pretty much effortlessly, showcasing just how strong this fusion itself is. Gogeta's fur and hair become red, his eyes are blue and his aura is huge and has some pretty nice sparkles on it. The biggest drawback of this fusion is the time limit itself due to the huge energy drain and output, and also the personality itself because Gogeta was incredibly childish which is possible due to Goku's personality, because basically he's a child influencing Gogeta this way. Potential Unleashed In the Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butoden Adventure Mode, which is an exclusive story for this game, which acts as a sequel to Dragon Ball GT, which is pretty much, I guess, the Battle of Gods equivalent of GT. <coughs> God, saying that feels bad, but... Basically, Goku has his potential unlocked by Old Kai with a special ritual which involves Goku fighting a vision of his potential unleashed self, and then unlocks the form himself. Goku can use his Super Saiyan forms on top of this state to increase his strength further, and this state is stronger than he is as a Super Saiyan 4, however he isn't strong enough to defeat the empowered Kid and, and, well, Kid Buu and Super Buu at the same time when faced with both of them. So there's that. Now, Super Saiyan Spirit Bomb, which is basically a form that Goku had achieved in video games, and also think in the Super Android 13 movie. And basically what it is, is he achieves this state by creating a Spirit Bomb, uh, turning into a Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 or 3, and then he absorbs it. He pretty much loses <laughs> any rational thoughts and just acts on impulse, and in the games he does the Dragon Fist, but in the movie he just punches through Android 13, thus taking him with it. Like I said, this state can be used in all three of his Super Saiyan forms, and yeah, that's pretty much there is for this. Xeno Goku. Now, this Goku is a version of Goku from a world that's separate from the main timeline, and who has joined the Time Patrol. His personality is identical to the Goku of the main timeline, and it is a, basically the most we know about him is that he has experienced the Freeze and Cell sagas, 
Lord Slag, Fusion Reborn, and Dragon Ball GT, and that he had also borrowed power. Well, he had borrowed power from Saiyans and temporarily became Super Saiyan God. However, Goku Zeno did not experience the events of Resurrection F through to the Universe Survival Saga and thus was unaware of Super Saiyan Blue's existence until his encounter with the main timeline Goku who ended up defeating him. And then we have Goku Black and Goku Black is basically Zamasu from another timeline that decided to steal Goku's body, take his name and then basically carry out a plan to erase all mortals from all universes. And also Goku Black has his own version of Super Saiyan Blue, which is Super Saiyan Rosé, and he does some pretty cool things with that form. He gets a scythe, and he has... Basically, Super Saiyan Rosé is literally rose-colored. He has a pink aura, and he looks cool. So, that's pretty much it for all of these. Uh, it's, it's been a long video, so I hope you guys managed to stick around through it. Um, this is going to be a pain to edit. But by the time you guys are seeing this up, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, another question is if you somehow made it through this entire video. Uh, basically, which all forms do you want to see next updated for 2018? I bet you it's going to be Vegeta. And if it is, that's fine. I can do that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of it. And again, let me know what your favorite Super Saiyan form is or form of Goku's. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.